Hi everyone, we are now on the third chapter which is about problem solving and reasoning. But before we go through problem solving, you must know first the two types of reasoning. Used to justify statements and arguments so that you'll be able to reflect on solutions to problems and determine whether or not they make sense. The first one is the inductive reasoning wherein it refers to the process of making generalized decisions after observing and or witnessing repeated specific instances of something. Okay, so always remember that when we say inductive, it goes from specific to general. Like for example, premise 1, Clark is a grandfather. Premise 2, Clark is bald. Conclusion, all grandfathers are bald. So as you can notice from the specific observations, so the premises 1 and 2, we generalize that all grandfathers are bald just because of those two observations on premises. So always remember, inductive from specific to general. While on the other hand, deductive reasoning it refers to the process of taking the information gathered from general observations and making specific decision based on that information. Take note that in deductive reasoning, we go from general to specific. So, kaya siya um, deductive. So, from general, nagdededuct tayo para ma-specify. Example, premise 1, all human are kind. Premise 2, Archie is a human. Conclusion, Archie is kind. So as you can see, from the general observation that all humans are kind, we arrived at a specific conclusion that Archie is kind. And for you to better understand these two types of reasoning, here is a table showing the difference between inductive and deductive reasoning. Okay, so inductive reasoning, it is observation-based, while deductive reasoning is theory-based. For inductive, it is a process of reaching conclusions based on a series of observations. And deductive, it is a process of reaching conclusions based on previously known facts. So that's why, so deductive reasoning, the conclusions are correct and valid, while um, in inductive reasoning, conclusion may not be valid. Dito sa inductive reasoning, it is used to form hypothesis and deductive reasoning, it is used to prove ideas. Second to the last, inductive reasoning draws general principle from specific instances while deductive reasoning, it draws specific conclusions from general principles. And lastly, in inductive reasoning, it always involves uncertainty, while in deductive reasoning, it is always certain and true. So, I have here examples, and please pause the video for your thinking time before I reveal the answers. Okay, let's try this. First example, all dolphins are mammals, all mammals have kidneys, therefore, all dolphins have kidneys. So, is it an example of deductive or inductive reasoning? Okay, so it is an example of deductive reasoning kasi we have here um, general um, premises and it is a fact that all dolphins are mammals and all mammals have kidneys. Okay, second example, every windstorm in this area comes from north. I can see a big cloud of dust in a distance. So yung conclusion niya is a new windstorm is coming from the north. So, is it inductive or deductive? Okay, so it is an example of inductive reasoning. Kasi itong two premises natin ay based sa observation. And nag-come up lang tayo sa conclusion na nag wherein binase natin yung conclusion natin dito sa series of observations that we had. Third example, all cats have a keen sense of smell. Second premise, Fluffy is a cat. Conclusion, Fluffy has a keen sense of smell. So, is it deductive or inductive? Okay, so it is deductive reasoning. So, again, we uh, came from 
a general idea and a fact that all cats have a keen sense of smell. And nag-come up tayo sa specific conclusion that Fluffy has a keen sense of smell. Fourth example, first premise, it is dangerous to drive on icy streets. Second premise, the streets are icy now. Conclusion, so it would be dangerous to drive. Inductive or deductive? Okay, so it is deductive reasoning because it is a fact that it is really dangerous to drive on icy streets kasi medyo slippery siya and uh, we have here a premise that the streets are icy na. So, that, so, yung conclusion natin, it would be really very dangerous to drive. So, ito ay factual and true. So, siya ay deductive reason. And lastly, first premise, Bob is showing a big diamond ring to his friend Larry. Second premise, Bob has told Larry that tonight he is planning to marry Joanne. And the conclusion, Bob must be surprising Joanne with the diamond ring tonight. So, is it inductive or deductive? Okay, so it is an example of inductive reasoning. So, why? Kasi from these two um, observations or uh, these two premises, nag-assume ano na Bob must be surprising Joanne with a diamond ring tonight. So, it is not a fact. So, siya ay example ng inductive reasoning. Okay, so always remember kapag deductive reasoning from general to specific and inductive from specific to general. For the next topic, we have intuition, proof, and certainty. Intuition is the ability to understand something instinctive, instinctively without the need for conscious reasoning or without having an actual evidence of it. So, from the word itself, intuition. It's yung instinct natin that we do not have to think like it's the first thing that comes into your mind when you are asked a certain question. Example, teacher, square, rectangle, and rhombus are parallelograms. A quadrilateral with opposite sides are parallel and equal. So, how many sides are there in a square? Student, ma'am, four. So, so, like in the example, we do not have to think how many sides are there in a quadrilateral because we already have this prior knowledge that quadrilateral has four sides. So, ganyan intuition, instinct. The first thing that comes into your mind. Next is mathematical proof. So, it is an argument that convinces other people that something is true. Example, so this is the continuation of the example early, earlier din sa intuition. So, teacher asked, how do you say so? Student, ma'am, because quadrilateral means a polygon with four sides. So, in here, we are to justify the, ans the answer that we have so that's why it is mathematical proof. So, dito, evidence yung kailangan. And lastly... Certainty. Certainty is a conclusion or outcome that is beyond doubt. Okay, example. So, continuation again. Teacher, please show an illustration on the board. And the student draws a square on the board. So, dito, since we already had the proof, we are now very certain on our answer. Like, we would have no doubt about it. So, these three are related to each other. Intuition, instinct. Mathematical proof, evidence, and lastly, certainty. We already have no doubt and we are very certain in the answer. Thank you for listening and we hope that you learned.